Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make transfer nodes and transfer items basically from any block that has an inventory into another block. So let's just go ahead and do that. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create the transfer nodes or the transfer pipes, which is this item here. And this is of course using the Sky Factory 3 mod. It is created using this pattern right here. So if we could just grab all this shabam, go over to a crafting table, which I preemptively had made. And transfer pipe. This pattern right here, it makes 16 at a time, right? And then the next thing you're going to need to transfer items is called a uh, it's called a transfer node, which has to be on the, the block you want to transfer out of. This is the recipe for it. It requires two chiseled stone. Chiseling stone is pretty easy. You just need to cook stone so it's regular smooth stone and then use a chisel. Here, I'll show you that too. You place the stone in the real world, and then you just left click on it, and it turns into chiseled stone, and then you can just hammer it up, and then you got some nice chiseled stone. Alright, so we're going to make that. It's pretty easy, it makes four at a time. And you have your transfer nodes in hand. Now, in this case, we want to be transferring cobblestone out of our cobblestone generator into our crucible so it's making lava. There's already some lava in there. So, in order to place the transfer node on objects that otherwise would be interactable, you have to shift, right click, and then you have to shift, right click again to place the pipe. So we have the transfer node on top of the generator, and then the pipe on top of the transfer node. And as you can see, it transferred in some cobblestone. And it's going to constantly be doing that. Now we need to complete this set so that the lava generator is also getting lava. So we put the transfer node on the block, such as the crucible in this case. Oh, you know what? That's the wrong transfer node. Hold on. We need to make, in this case, lava is a fluid. So we need to be making the, um, this one. So in this case, since we want to transfer the liquid lava, out of the crucible and into our lava generator we need the transfer node for fluids you can see it's blue to indicate that it's for fluids and it in parentheses it says fluids the, the recipe is exactly the same as for items except instead of a chest it is a bucket it still creates four at a time and the nice thing about this you don't have to create a special piping for the fluids you just have to use a special transfer node so we put the transfer node on the crucible to transfer lava out. As you can see, we're already missing all the lava that was in there, and it's now transferred in here. To further expand your transfer of items between blocks, you might want to filter what gets pushed and what does not get pushed through the transfer nodes. If you want to do that, you are going to be needing something called a filter. If you right click on any transfer node, you will see there is a slot for a filter which is where this thing goes so we're going to take this out this is the recipe for it right here so i'm just going to go ahead and pop all these in my inventory and make that right quick so that i can prove to you that it's real not fake and you can see it in this inventory so we click that it's a little plus sign boom we got another one now the way that this works is you have to have it in your hand and then you right click it'll pull open this menu anything you put in here can either be the th items you want to be transferred or the items you don't want to be transferred. And that is indicated by this button right here. Whitelist means the items that are in this grid are the only items you want to be f transferred through the pipe. Blacklist means those I you it can transfer any items through the pipe except the items that are in this list. So, you know, it, there's certain situations where both apply. And you can do that by just clicking, picking up an item and then clicking it in the grid. All right, that's pretty simple. So for instance, we, I don't know why you'd want to, but we're gonna whitelist 
we're, we're gonna blacklist cobblestone to show you that once you put this filter in here, it will no longer start putting cobblestone through. As you can see, no more cobblestone pops up, but as soon as we take this away, cobblestone starts coming back through. So that's pretty much how you transfer items between things. This works universally with anything that has an inventory, doesn't matter. Um, such as in the case of over here in my automated farm, you will see that this doesn't really have a practical inventory, but it still pulls things out of it using the transfer node, the pipe, and puts it into this chest. So, tune in for the next episode where I show you how to transfer power between items. Thanks guys.